With The Legend of Ben Hall, we really only scraped the surface of the expanse of stories about the bushrangers in New South Wales. Our film only explored the last nine months of Ben Hall's life. And due to our very limited budget, it was a very contained and personal story. We really couldn't open up and explore the vastness of that world as we would have liked to. We couldn't look at Ben Hall's earlier criminal career, which is a shame because there's just so much there to explore. So when you go back and look at those early years, this whole world of bushrangers just opens right up. You discover all these amazing characters like Frank Gardner, John Vane, John Paisley, Jack O'Mealy. And Ben Hall knew most of these guys. He rode with many of them. And of course, the police chasing all these outlaws are a whole other side to this story. The most famous of them being Sir Frederick Pottinger, who was Australia's equivalent to America's lawman Wyatt Earp. When the goldfields in the central west of New South Wales opened up in the late 1815s, bushranging just exploded. It would never be eclipsed either, not even with the Kelly outbreak 15 years later. Ned Kelly himself idolised men like Ben Hall and Frank Gardner. To him, these men were his heroes. This period in Australia's history was equal to, if not bigger than, what was happening in America's Wild West. And most people just don't realise that. Until the release of The Legend of Ben Hall in 2017, this history has never really reached the big screen, which is why I believe this history remains somewhat unknown. I want to change all that. I want to bring these characters to life for everyone to discover. Not only because it's important for Australians to know about their past, but also because these are incredible stories with fascinating characters, and that's what movies are all about. The Legends Anthology is a proposed series of films that encompasses this world introduced in The Legend of Ben Hall. Each new film will focus on a different central character and a whole new story, but they share many of the same characters and their stories are all interconnected. So it's a shared universe of overlapping stories, so when viewed from start to finish, these films form a much larger overall story, much like a TV show does. Frank Gardner is considered to be the godfather of the bushrangers because he took bushranging to a whole new level. Gardner essentially became our country's first media celebrity. He was infamous throughout the newspapers and people would read of his daily exploits with absolute glee. During his trial, people were making souvenirs of Gardner and selling them in the streets of Sydney. This cattle thief and highway robber developed such a tantalising reputation as this gentleman bushranger, this king of the road, charming, daring, uncatchable and making absolute fools out of the police. Gardner fostered a whole new generation of young men who would go on to supersede him. And among these guys were Ben Hall and John Gilbert. Together they pulled off the largest gold heist in the British Empire. So not only do we get to discover this wonderful new character of Frank Gardner, we also witness the genesis of Ben Hall and John Gilbert to see how and why these men became bushrangers, something our first film couldn't explore. We have a very small window in which to make these films and that window is closing fast. We can't wait 10 or 15 years to pick this up again because many cast members from The Legend of Ben Hall will be reprising their roles. Actors Jack Martin and Jamie Coffer will reprise their roles along with a host of other characters such as Biddy Hall, Jim Taylor, Sergeant Condal, Inspector Davidson, Billy Dargan, Inspector Sanderson, and many, many others. We really only have a couple of years to get these films into production before everyone ages too much, so now is the time to make this saga. Against overwhelming odds, we have set things in motion with The Legend of Ben Hall. It was a film that many said could not be made, but here it is, and bit by bit, every day, it is reaching more and more audiences all over the world. So now is the time to expand it, blow this story wide open, and take it further than anyone has ever dared take it before. But to make these films, we need financial investors, passionate, business-minded entrepreneurs who believe in what we are trying to create, can see its potential in the global film market, and who are prepared to back us. This series has the potential to be a huge Australian film franchise with worldwide audience appeal. So I'm asking that investors take a look at what we achieved with The Legend of Ben Hall believe in our vision for this series and come on board to make these films become the classic pieces of Australian cinema they deserve to be.